I'm Daryl Campbell. I'm a writer and a director. I do mainly television and film. If you want to communicate anything, you can do it visually, almost anything. That's probably always been true. It's certainly been a way to get to the masses of people who have no education. Pictures worth a thousand words, and it truly is. Uh, even in my writing, uh, people who taught me to write would say, if you can play it and not say it, it is a stronger visual. And you think, well, Shakespeare, who's full of thousands of words in a play, uh, is really the, the opposite of, of what I just described. But if you saw, see certain people can do a pantomime for a half an hour and totally move you to tears and emotion. But I think with the, the visual arts and what I do is basically a, a huge part of what I do, capturing images. Well, right now, my uh, biggest contacts in show business, uh, producers, directors in, in Hollywood, use YouTube and, uh, like you would not believe. I mean, I, w I just had this conversation three weeks ago with one of the top producers that, whose name I won't say, but he says, look, you want to get anything exposed, get on YouTube. Because I, he had in his office, the day before I had lunch with him, somebody he, whom he had found on YouTube because he's very, very funny and they were doing some sort of whatever it was, you know, two minute sketch. That guy, even though he was in front of my friend, had just signed with another major producer the day before. To me, I, I like to always see the glass half full on that one because I think it's a great way for an unknown person, unknown actor, director, writer, producer, lighting person, animator, to get exposed where they may not even be able to get through a door on a studio lot. They can get it on YouTube and get a, a you know, goodness, what if you got 500,000 hits? Mm -hmm. Not only are you going to get paid because they're going to get a sponsor, but you're going to, going to get exposed, and people are getting jobs that way. Um, weak fathers, you know. Uh, I, I don't know that that's completely bad, but fathers who are stupid make dumb decisions, and their kids make fun of them. And dang, I wrote a show called Home Improvement, and we made the father, yeah, he made a lot of mistakes. But in the end, he was... He loved those children, and he was going, doing his best, and then he would teach them, even though he was always teachable by the guy with the fence, of course. Another image that's perpetuated is, um, is that young people can get away with anything. In reality, you live with consequences of your actions. But let me give you just give some uh, theater history a little bit, or movie history, is that there was a day when... Um, if you were on a police force, you wore a uniform, right? The movie business, then you opened your jacket, flashed your badge on your, on your belt or something, but you wore the suit and tie that, for some reason, which is, if you think about it, we th used to think of suits and ties were for going to church and uh, to prom or something. And, but now it's a, it seems to be, uh, that's, a, that's an image that's perpetuated. I mean, why don't they wear uniforms anymore? I mean, do you know? I mean, it's, it's the movies. The movies changed all that. In the visual arts, one of the most fascinating people, and you mentioned to me not long ago, was uh, Michelangelo. Very fascinating, and I think he was truly a man inspired by God. And, he, and each day he would get up, he was, his mind was, he, he was spiritually in tune. His heart was. He looked at a 13 feet tall um, slab of marble or granite, whatever it was, marble. And he saw David inside it. And up until the time he saw the statue of David inside that rock, uh, da Vinci and other men of that time had been commissioned, can you, what can you do with this? And they couldn't come up with anything. And he came up with one of the most brilliant and be beautiful statues ever, that people travel across the world to go see it. I love to talk about directors and what they do. Directors, to me, are just an extension of what I do as a writer. Because I direct the picture in my head. I've already seen it as a writer. I've seen the movie. And I, I've seen all the various endings of the movie, too, what I could do differently. But um, as a director, uh, and maybe that's why I really admire Woody Allen, because Woody will write everything he does, and then he directs, because he's already seen the film.